y'all and welcome to today's video. It is that time of the week where we talk about all the new makeup releases. Ugly, cute, gonna buy them, not gonna buy them. Do we wanna buy them but we're gonna show some self-control? We are here to judge new makeup so if that sounds good to you I want to say hey my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here on my channel we don't try to be perfect we just want to have a good time with our makeup whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, judging the new releases we are here for it. I do upload lots of new videos every single week so I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. I can't wait to dive in though. All of the new makeup release accounts that I follow are listed down below along with Samantha March who is the creator of the Will I Buy It series. So definitely check out the links down below but I can't wait to judge so let's jump into it. you a heads up that normally these videos go up every Sunday and I sit down and I film them on Saturdays but at the time that you are watching this I am laying on the beach I am on vacation <laughs> so I'm filming today on Friday I'm filming early so if I miss any of the new releases if anything launches between now and the time you're watching this we will certainly talk about it next week there's still a ton of things to talk about though like oh my goodness we have so much to talk about so let's jump into it okay the most exciting thing for me has to be pat mcgrath new holiday 2021 collection she revealed her palette oh i'm so excited okay first let me read you the details then i will kind of tell you what i'm thinking we have the celestial odyssey palette 18 new shades for 78 dollars there are divine blush and glow trios so these are blush and highlighter palettes where we have galactic sun which has two blushes and golden nectar highlighter. I have golden nectar. That's what I have on my cheeks today. And then Amber Allure, which is Love Struck, Paradise Venus being the two blushes and Venus nectar being the highlighter. I don't think I have Venus nectar. So I'm going to have to really look at that. I might buy that one. We have two new quads, a new Skin Fetish Sublime highlighter in Lunar Nude, and then two Lust Lux lip balms and then there will be duos so this is very exciting okay starting off with the cheek trios I will probably buy the one that has the um darker shades because I don't have that highlight now today on my face I am wearing like I said I'm wearing golden nectar and the only blush I have from Pat McGrath is the shade flirtatious it's the blush I'm wearing today and I really enjoy it now last year Pat McGrath launched a palette in the same format for this same price point $78 it was my first time buying Pat McGrath and I fell in love so I'm definitely planning to purchase this palette when the palette was opened my eyes immediately went to that teal that dark teal shade on the top row that looks like a teal navy gray something like that and then I see on the bottom row, there's another blue and a green. And I'm very excited. I don't have a huge Pat McGrath collection. So there's no repeating shades in my collection from Pat McGrath here in this palette. So I'm definitely planning to buy this. I think the packaging looks beautiful. I love Pat McGrath shadows. I'm wearing Pat McGrath today. On my eyes, I have the newest palette from her, the Utopian Dream. And I love it. So I'm definitely definitely gonna buy this and I'm definitely going to buy the new highlighter the highlighter is lunar nude so I'll buy that because the highlighters I have from Pat McGrath are amazing I have the trio I have this one and then I have the divine rose highlighter and I love them so 100% I'm judging this as cute <laughs> so freaking cute this is so beautiful Definitely buying the palette, definitely buying the highlight. The other things, I don't know. I'll probably pass on the quads. 
definitely gonna pass on the lip products, but I may buy I may buy the cheek trios. It just it really just depends. But I would love to know your thoughts. I'm a huge Pat McGrath fan, so of course I'm buying this. We also have a new collaboration from Odinza. I will not say too much about this. Odinza did send me this collection. Congratulations to Annette, Judy, and Tina. Listen, if my video is not already up, it will be coming later today. Trust. I'm going to be giving y'all swatches and looks. So that's all I'm going to say about this. Uh, codes do not work on this collection, but if you want other Odin's Eye products, you can use codes. My, my code is just Heather. I'll have the information down below, but I couldn't not talk about it. Even though I have a video coming on it, I couldn't not talk about it. So congratulations again to Odin's Eye, Judy, Tina, and Annette. Okay, next up we have a new collection from LYS Beauty. I have never tried LYS, but they are launching the Glow Beyond Collection. They have highlighters. Let's see. Aim High Pressed Powder Highlighter for $19 each in three different shades. And they have the Aim High Multi-Use Liquid Highlighter. Now, I didn't say this earlier, but everything I talk about, all the information is down in the description box with links. If you choose to shop through my links, thank you so much. I do have a link for the Pat McGrath. So if you wanted to sign up to be notified of when it's going to launch, have early access, all of that, you can do so through that link down in the description box. But these are already on the Sephora site, but they're not available now. So I did link them, but they won't be for sale until September 22nd. Um, but they are at Sephora, which I think is really cool. I think the highlighters are really pretty. They put these in their triangle packaging, which is what they're bronzers like the rest of their powder products are in this triangle packaging which I think is cool to keep that consistent throughout the brand I'm just gonna pass on this again I already know I want to buy the Pat McGrath highlighter so I'm not looking to try highlighter from a brand that would be maybe more new to me I'm gonna pick the Pat McGrath instead Let's talk about ColourPop. ColourPop has revealed their new Plush Like Me collection, and they say this is 90s inspired makeup, and it is available for sale now. I do think this palette looks really pretty. This is just a neutral palette with a little bit of burgundy, basically. <laughs> There's only one burgundy, no, I'm sorry, there's a burgundy matte and then it looks like a burgundy shimmer shade. Otherwise, it's neutral. It looks very pretty. The lipsticks look really pretty. The packaging looks pretty. There's going to be a soul body highlighter, those huge highlighters that they do. Uh, that's a shimmer body powder. I'm going to pass on this. I definitely think I mean, I don't need this. Do I need anything? No, but I really don't need this. You know, I do think the lips are pretty. I could see myself adding a lipstick and maybe lip liner to a ColourPop order, but it's not something I'm like placing an order on ColourPop specifically for this. I just, it's not something that I look at and I'm like, okay, right away I need. They also have their blush sticks, their cream blushes. I'll, overall, I'm just passing on this whole collection, even though I do think it's really super duper pretty. Okay, Gucci has launched an eyeshadow palette, and this palette, the packaging, I think, is the most interesting thing about this palette. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I love the shape of it. I love the front. Like, that screams luxury to me. Like, the roses on the black packaging with oh, I just think the packaging is so beautiful now trim it said that it's available now I could not find it on Saks so if I can find a link I will link it down below but maybe it's sold out I don't know check the description box if you're interested now when we get to the inside of the palette the makeup the part that actually matters maybe I don't know I think the packaging is beautiful but the makeup inside first of all we have a lot of wasted space in the palette which I don't like I don't like having all that wasted space so that already kind of bugs me inside I think it's pretty to me this looks like four quads put together so if you break this palette down by like four eyeshadows I think that black purple light blue and kind of the silvery metallic would create a beautiful look I think the middle 
four shades would create a beautiful look and I think the other side the white the light pink the maybe kind of like plum berry and then that kind of taupe color would be a pretty look so I feel like this was laid out in a way that makes sense but it's also not a palette that's just calling to me it says there's three metallics two satins and seven mattes this is 149 dollars and I am definitely not going to buy it, but I can appreciate the packaging. Okay, I'll quickly mention that Melt Cosmetics launched new lip liners. Melt is one of my favorite brands. They are an independently owned brand, but their products are available at Sephora. These are on the website now, and these are wooden pencils. Listen, ultra matte lip pencils. They're just lip pencils, okay? They look really pretty but I have not bought any. I could definitely see myself grabbing these maybe when there's a sale or something like that, but I'm not making a purchase for these. They're not something I need right now. Y'all know I love talking about collaborations. I love seeing other creators get collaborations. I think it's so exciting. So we have a new collection with Morphe and Ashley Strong. This is the Affirmation Magic Artistry Palette a two different lip duos and a cake liner palette. I don't really love cake liners so that was an easy pass for me. The Ashton palette I think the color story looks really pretty. It looks grungy and fall and deep and dark and I really like that but Morphe is not a eyeshadow brand that I just rush to have. I do have some palettes from them. I think they're really nice but I'm not looking to add this to my collection, even though I think this is really pretty. I think the colors she picked out are beautiful. It looks like you have a nice mix of mattes and metallics. It's already available at Ulta, so if you're interested, I do have a link for you down below. But we have greens, and it looks like a purple, and some nice, really rich fall colors. So congratulations to Ashley. I think the packaging is beautiful, and I think this is a really, really pretty collab. Terra Moons is an indie brand that I have not tried yet, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about their makeup. They are launching 12 new multi-chrome eyeshadows. This is the Fall Equinox collection. I have the photo here and everything looks beautiful. It looks like these are very deep fall tones, which of course fits with the theme. These are going to be available on Makeup Twin makeup 22nd no these are going to be available on september 22nd at 6 p.m cst i really like single shadows i think these are super pretty should this be my first terra moons purchase y'all will have to weigh in and let me know what you think okay this is also something that is really exciting to me that i would love to hear y'all's thoughts on this is the new skincare line from Juvia's Place. This is Juvia's Skin and it is live now. So this is what, this is what Instagram says. Juvia's Skin blends nature with science to offer the gentlest, most cost-effective, professionally researched skincare options for all skin types. I am hoping I will see some skincare creators review this line. I'm not a skincare person. I know what works for me. I know that my skin really likes niacinamides. I know that my skin likes um, niacinamides. What am I thinking? Um, clinical, like clinical, chemical exfoliants like AHAs, BHAs, retinols. Like my skin responds to those things. I have oily skin. Um, 34 so I have aging skin I have breakout prone skin so I kind of know like I know my skin but I want to see some people really talk about this and give their opinions on it because I would be interested first of all the packaging is adorable but I want to see some reviews on these products there's a melt off cleanser cleansing balm there is an AHA BHA PHA exfoliating treatment facial pads that I would be interested in there's a toner and afterglow serum, hyaluronic acid serum, vitamin C treatment pads, and there is a niacinamide serum. So I would be interested in that. Uh, there's all different kinds of stuff. So I think this is really exciting. If you've purchased anything from Juvia Skin, please let me know. Next up, we have mini palettes coming from Colored Rain, which I think is really super cool. I have not 
thought the only thing I have from Color and Rain is the Queen of Hearts palette. I don't have anything else. I've heard mixed reviews about their other palettes. So I'm not planning to buy this. There are four different mini palettes and it just says coming soon. That's all I could find. There's the Neutral Chic palette, the Pretty Chic palette, Wealthy Chic, and Sunset Chic. I think the mattes do look really pretty, the greens especially, but I don't know. I don't need it. Pass. Midas Cosmetics has launched a palette with Cole MUA. So congratulations to Cole and Midas. This is the soft served palette. I'm pretty sure my friend Karen has a code with Midas. It's KH Makeup. I think if you want to save on this palette, this is a mostly matte palette. It is very warm, very neutral, very pretty. I'm not planning to purchase this, but I have seen lots of videos on this palette. Um, so make sure you check it out if you're interested. I do think it looks very beautiful. So congratulations again to Cole and Midas. Tarte Holiday is now at Ulta Beauty. I don't know if this is the only collection they're going to launch for Holiday. If they're going to launch some more, I'm not sure, but this is an easy pass for me. Okay. <laughs> this is the Tarte sweet eyeshadow palette in double shot and frosted so the one that's more pinky tone looks just like their tart palettes they've been releasing lately the ones that are pinks and berries and they have like the big one the medium one the mini um they also have like a warm neutral one okay you know when i look at the pinky one i'm like that that's like a trend right now right so we see the Natasha Denona Retro came out and I love that palette. I love that palette. I love that palette. So I'm easily going to pass on this one from Tarte because I just don't go bananas for Tarte, you know, but they also have a blush set. I do really like the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes, but I don't need this set. There is a gingerbread butter whipped body butter. Now that is intriguing to me, but I don't normally spend $39 on body lotion. So I'm going to pass on that. There is a Shape Tape Best Seller set um, and some other little things that really I just don't even care enough about to talk about honestly. Um, the Gingerbread Body Butter is the thing that's most interesting to me but I'm still not going to buy it. The palettes are cute but unnecessary for me. NYX has launched some cool new stuff. Okay so this photo I'm going to pop up first is the Give Me Superstars Holiday Collection. Okay, you have a soft matte lip kit, marshmallow soothing primer, lip lingerie kit, lip pencil liner vault, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I love the soft matte lip cream from NYX. Love that formula. I think it's so good. If you're looking for a matte liquid lipstick from the drugstore, amazing. All the other stuff I'm not interested in. They're also launching new palettes. So these are five shades, very pretty. I have several palettes from NYX and I really enjoy them. So I think this is pretty, but it's not tempting me to hand over my money in exchange for it. So I'm gonna pass, but I do think these two palettes are really pretty. I went to NYX's Instagram. I don't know, why does NYX not like advertise their stuff? Like I never see the new releases from them. It's always somebody else that's found them on their website, which is fine. But like, even right now, today for me, it's Friday and I'm not seeing any of this holiday stuff on their Instagram page, even though it's for sale right now on their website. Like, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Flower Beauty has a new palette. This is the Forbidden Fruit eyeshadow palette, okay? It looks like this is a mostly shimmer heavy palette. I'm not going to buy it. I don't trust Flower Beauty. Listen, Flower Beauty is so hit or miss. I have the Jungle Lights palette. Love it. I have the Desert Lights palette. Love it. Everything else I've tried from Flower Beauty has been a dud for me, honestly. So looking at this, seeing matte eyeshadows and shimmer shadows, I'm just going to pass. I don't think this was the best timing for this release. It kind of, I don't know. I mean, the colors inside look fall, but like with the watermelons and raspberries on the packaging, it seems like summer. I, the Flower Beauty is just too inconsistent for me, for me personally, so I'm going to pass. Makeup Forever Holiday 2021. We've got two new highlighters. 
lipsticks, brushes, boring. <laughs> this is boring. This is boring. Is this exciting to you? Am I the only one? Now listen, the lipsticks look cool, right? Okay, let's give them that. Let's give them that. I won't be so harsh. The lipsticks look pretty cool. They have like this cool like imprint on the lipstick, but is it cool enough to make me buy them? No. I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's, I don't know. No creativity. Alomar Cosmetics. They got me. They got me. I haven't bought it. I'm not going to buy it, but they drew me in. Liquid it to powder. That's all you have to say. Liquid to powder? Do you mean putty? Putty highlighters? Liquid to powder sun-soaked shine highlighters. As soon as I read that, I was like, hmm, should this be my first Alomar Cosmetics purchase? I showed a little self-control. Because again, I said I'm going to buy the Pat McGrath highlighter. I can't buy everything. I've never tried Alomar. But dang, liquid to powder. Doesn't that sound divine? There are three shades, fair light, medium tan, and dark rich. Already available now. Let me know. Listen, leave your Alomar Cosmetics reviews down below because I have never tried the brand. MAC has a new collaboration coming up with Rosalia. Let's talk first the highlighter palette. This looks like a highlighter palette. Now there's going to be lots of things. There's going to be lip products and stuff, but the highlighter palette looks beautiful. It looks like we have a kind of blush topper with three highlighters. Very pretty. I don't need it. There's also going to be an eyeshadow palette. Now I will say this palette, I like the way this is laid out, how you have matte metallic, matte metallic, matte metallic, matte, like that is very visually pleasing to me, but this is very neutral. I haven't tried MAC eyeshadows in years. I've just found new formulas that I like better. I'm going to pass on this, but I do think this is very pretty. Like, everything about this is pretty. The red packaging, pretty. The neutral makeup, very pretty. So, congratulations to MAC and Rosalia. I would love to know if y'all are interested in picking up that collection. Beauty Blender. Oh my gosh, y'all finally did something other than colored sponges. Look at that. Look at them go. <laughs> no, seriously, I know that they have other products besides the sponges, but I just laugh every time they are like, new, a purple one, new, a blue one, new, a light pink one. It cracks me up. But this they're actually releasing. I know they have foundations. I know. I know. I know they have blushes. I know y'all. But they are releasing a new Bounce Skin Tint. This is the Always On Radiant Skin Tint, available now. It says it's buildable long wear, natural radiant finish with light to medium coverage. I love a skin tint. Okay, there, I said it. I love a skin tint, but I'm going to pass on this. I just bought two new Sephora foundations. I'm wearing the Dior Forever Glow for the first time today. I'm <laughs> loving how glowy my skin looks. Loving how glowy my skin looks. Yes, I have oily skin. Yes, I love to look dewy and glowy. So I'll have to keep y'all updated. It's my first time wearing this foundation. I've only had it on for a few hours now. I also bought the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Foundation. I'll be keeping y'all updated on that. So I'm going to pass on the skin tint because I've already... Oh, and I repurchased my Natasha Denona. If you watch my MD's video and I talked about emptying out my Natasha Denona Foundation X... I already ordered another one. So that's three foundations that I have bought in the past three or four days. So I'm going to pass on the skin tint. We have another Hello Kitty collab. This is a collab with Shuamura and Hello Kitty. We have an eyeshadow palette, lipsticks, blush. No, I'm sorry, brush, eye pencil, and skincare. I'm going to pass. I'm not like a Hello Kitty fan club type of person. I think she's very cute. I don't have anything against Hello Kitty. Like, I don't have a problem with her. But I don't need this, although everything's really cute. I don't have any information other than coming soon. I mean, this is adorable. Like, maybe I do need, like, one thing. Like, maybe I could get, like, the lipstick. The palette looks pretty cute. Just from what I can see, there's, like, silver, purple, and neutrals. So, am I sitting here talking myself into Shuamura Hello Kitty? I don't know. I'll have to look at it when it's actually for sale, and then we'll see if... She gets my money. She might, though, because this is cute. I don't need it. But what do we need? Nothing. 
I still might buy it. All right, y'all, those are all the new releases that I have to talk about this week. I would love to know what you think of any of the new releases. Do we agree or disagree? However you feel, it is a-okay because we can't all like the same things. All the same makeup isn't gonna work for everybody. So I would love to know what you think. Please subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, social media, anybody who you think might would like my content. It helps me out a ton. But thank you again for watching and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.